All right, everybody. Um, I got the pearl white truck done. Um, came out really nice. Got it all in pieces. Um, I wanted to knock that one out real fast so I could work on this one here. This is uh, a good friend of mine, Rick. We've done a couple of his trucks. Uh, this is his C20 dually conversion. Um, he bought it like this. It looks like another shop had drafted these uh, step side fenders onto this fleet side long box. So um, they did a really good job. Um, you know, I don't know. Um, it's welded on the inside. Um, they did a pretty good job. So the rest of the truck is pretty farm truck, old, rusty, you know, a little bit of patina going on, mostly just, uh, you know, a clean, clean old white truck. Um, he came to me, you know, we're going to do some things to this truck, but one of his main things he wanted was a uh, white patina paint job. That way he can make this uh, box match the cab as much as he could. So um, I've never done one of these paint jobs. I'm going to give it a shot. I got a pretty good a couple good ideas of how to do this. And, you know, the truck's already got some patina on it that I can, you know, go off of, you know, some of the black and the actual rust down below and, you know, I think I'm going to lay down a couple different colors um, for base, and then I'll put a white base over top, and then I'll probably put a tinted white base on top of that. So we, we might have like five or six layers. Um, I'll, uh, I'll take videos or pictures or something as I go, and we'll post it um, as, as, uh, as the process uh, happens here. So, um, yeah, thanks. All right, everybody. Uh, Back in the booth here, I got stages one and two looking good of what I want as far as our patina truck paint job goes. Basically, I hit it with the rust colored uh, paint base coat all over it. And then I went through and uh, texturized this darker brown color. Uh, I used uh, water uh, first and then I came back through and painted the darker brown over top and then I dabbed it. And what that does is where the water's at, the darker paint won't go. So it looks like rust and kind of like, uh, almost like acid burning into the, so um, I got it looking, you know, pretty good. Um, it looks real airbrushed right now, just because I was hitting it with a rattle can. But once I come through, back through with the white and I'll whitewash the whole thing, I'll lay the water down where I want my rust to come through and then um, I'll, I'll, hit, I'll hit it with the white and then I'll dab all that down and then I'll probably yellow uh, tint the white and come back through and then that way when I come back and hit it with the 1500 wet to get my layer shown through, you'll be able to see the rust coming through. I mean, it'll be, should be spot on. I don't know, I'm shooting from the hip here. Just some ideas I've seen on the internet and previous experiences and um, yeah, hopefully it turns out. I mean, so far it's looking like an old shitty truck, so we're on point. Uh, keep watching, thanks. All right, everybody, Jesse from Jesse's Performance uh, back again. Um, I've been working the past couple days on this patina paint truck. Um, last time I showed a video, I think I had the brown laid down and the darker brown, and then um, I came back and water spotted it and painted it like a white, like a factory white color. And then I came back with a little bit of a tint to it and give it some yellow in some places. That way when I'm sanding it off, even though where I don't sand all the white off at, it'll have a yellow tint to it. Um, kind of like a old lacquer clear wood. Um, so let me do, and I've been working this morning uh, on sanding it and getting the patino look. Um, and this is where I started is on this side of the hood. I'm gonna do a little bit more on the hood when I come back around. It's just, it's fighting me a little bit. I got the paint on a little thick, so. But I got the fenders, the door kind of, I kind of went up to the top of the door. And I got the side of the bed about where I want it, I think. And it's really shiny right now just because it's wet. I've been wet sanding the hell out of this thing. And then in my little spray bottle, I got some wax and grease remover. It kind of helps break up a non-cleared paint. So in those real tough areas, I can spray it. So um, that's where I'm at. I got a lot, um, a lot to go, but let me show you here. This is a good spot. This is where I had sprayed some water, and if you look at it, it looks like you know rock chips and 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 
so on. So that's a really good trick to, you know, for the DIY guys. All right, well, um, I'll do an update video when it's all done and I get it outside. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Everybody, uh, Jesse at Jesse's Performance here. Um, I got this paint job done, uh, the patina paint job on this little uh, C20 truck uh, from my friend Rick. Um, it turned out really, really good, um, just as I was hoping. Um, we got some more trim to put on the bed. Um, he's supposed to be bringing that to us, and that'll really make this uh, complete. But you can see, I got the hood just the way I wanted it. I got the rock chips in the front. You know, looking right. And I gotta remember, I repainted this truck and it's got like five different layers of paint on it right now. Um, thin layers, obviously, and I sanded about half of two of them off. So, um, you know, it's not, the mill thickness isn't too thick, but the look is just, just right on this truck. Like, sitting out here in the grass, I mean, it's, it's just right. It looks sweet. The last thing I did was the roof. I don't know. I mean, it's all it's all done out nice. So um, now we're ready to uh, get the back of this truck sit lower, get the front sit lower, get some more power under it, get it sounding better. Um, work on the interior, get the interior to kind of match the distressed patina look. Um, I'm super pumped about all of it. Um, you know, compared to what this truck was just a couple of days ago. At least now it's all one uniform-ish color. And once we get the trim on, this thing is gonna look bad to the bone.